Okay, so one quick topic we're going to just touch on, kind of bounce over, is the deflection of beams. So, you know, if you've got some forces on, uh, you know, a, a beam, a cantilever beam, a simply supported beam, all these beams, uh, that, that the bar might kind of bend down a little bit. Um, you know, the bar may not be completely um, horizontal anymore. These are very exaggerated, uh, but this elastic curve right here in blue, the elastic curve is the deflection curve of the neutral axis. Neutral axis. So this blue line is what the neutral axis is doing. Is it? Does it go down a few millimeters down here? Uh, where does it deflect the most? Um, it might be helpful to draw or have an equation for that deflecting curve. All right. And so this is what it is. Let's let's look at this. So so first we have the loading diagram. So let's go back to our shear and moment diagrams. We had our loading diagram, and if we integrated, we would get the shear diagram. If we integrated again, we would get the moment diagram. And so actually, if you integrate two more times from the moment diagram, so if we had an equation for our moment <coughs> diagram, and we integrated it two more times, uh, we would get this elastic curve. All right, we would get an equation for this curve right here. We would get an equation for the deflection of that neutral axis, how high or low that neutral axis goes from its original position. So really, that's it. So if we integrate, if we had an equation for our moment diagram and we integrated it twice uh, going backwards, if we took derivatives, right, derivatives we would get this uh, this right here would be let's just call it the slope of the elastic curve right the slope of the because the derivative of the elastic curve would be the slope of the elastic curve so uh, let's see here if we had the moment diagram or an equation for our moment diagram. Uh, and we integrated that twice. Um, then you're going to have two constants of integration. All right, this is the real quick and easy version of it. Two constants of integration. And to solve for those two constants of integrations, to find those, we would use boundary conditions. I don't know how much boundary conditions you've done in your other classes. Use boundary conditions. Boundary conditions to solve for those constants of integration. Okay. So here are some possible boundary conditions. Possible boundary conditions. Okay, and then one other thing, the elastic curve we're calling this V or this new well, this V is the deflection. <clears throat> All right, so at a pin, the deflection will be zero, right? Right here, that elastic curve, that, that pin is really, really fixed. It's not going up or down right there. That pin right there, it, it's not moving up or down, so it is not deflecting at that pin. So at the pin, the... Uh, deflection at the elastic curve will be zero. At a wall, the deflection will also be zero, but <clears throat> at a wall, 
the slope of that deflection also comes to zero right, right at the wall. So, and the derivative of the deflection, the slope of the elastic curve will, will, will be zero. <clears throat> At a roller, the deflection will be zero. <clears throat> and so then, if you've got something like this, you have your, sh your loading diagram, you take the, you integrate it twice, you've got your moment diagram, um, and if you were to break this up into equations and take the integrals of that, you would get um, twice. You would get the um, you would get the um, elastic curve, right? The the deflection, and then you would know, hey, at point B, my v has to equal zero. Uh, also, at this pin, my v has to equal zero, and you can take that <coughs> and kind of plug those in to 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 kind of solve for those. Um, to solve for some of those unknowns in your equation. Okay? That was a short and easy. Um, we're not doing this in this class. We're touching on it in this class. Um, this won't be on your uh, final exam or anything. Uh, but just want you to introduce you that that the elastic curve, the deflection, is the integral. Um, or here, to, saying it backwards, the moment is the second derivative of um, the elastic curve. The E and the I are just factors. Um, um, the E is the um, modulus of elasticity. The I is the um, area moment of inertia. Um, just to get those values and those uh, units and equations correct. You got that E and the I. Okay, so we're going to move on from this. Just wanted to show that to you. You will see that in your other class, especially uh, civil. Uh, you'll see that later on.